Ooh, it's quite the drop. What's up guys, welcome back. As you can tell from this intro, we're at the top of a little cliff here. So, last time, actually I think it's the last video, I uh, went out in a kayak and caught some nice king salmon. I actually caught my limit and it was really hot. Um, but I wasn't really thinking about that day. The whole drive home I was thinking about this cliff right here. So when I was in the kayak, I was catching them right off the edge of this cliff right here. Um, and I was trolling in the kayak, but I was thinking to myself, man, if I catch them right here in the kayak, I can definitely come back here. Well, maybe not definitely, but I should be able to come back here and catch them from shore off of this big cliff. I think we're probably like, I don't know, 100 feet up? 50 to 100, let's just say that, conservative. There's gonna be a few challenges. You know, first off, I can't troll like I was in the kayak, so I'm gonna have to change that a little bit. Um, but I got a little plan, and I think, I'm hoping, this is gonna be an epic day. So here's the setup, at least, that I'm gonna start with. So, if you've been watching my steelhead videos, I kinda told you, this is like my new favorite way of fishing with bobber. So I'm gonna try to incorporate that into today's video and hopefully catch a king salmon with this bobber. So anyways, um, I got the bobber set up here and that's tied to a little leader here. Well, actually, sorry, there's a little sinker here first um, to drop the, the um, presentation below the surface. And then I got a little leader to a sliding uh, snell knot rig. And I got a, a octopus hook on top and then a little treble hook here on the bottom. And so what I'm gonna do is with this little bobber, there's a bobber stop on here. You can see a little piece of green string there. And what that does is once the, the presentation is the water, that'll stop the bobber from sliding any farther up the line. So what that does is I can tr control the depth of my presentation with this little bobber stop. Essentially mooching from shore for halibut, uh, or sorry, halibut. That would be epic if I caught a halibut in this lake, but there's no halibut in here. Anyways, for salmon, um, I want this, I'm gonna try to get this down 30 feet below the surface. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide this little bobber stop, I'm gonna slide it up 30 feet, or maybe I guess without the leader, we'll try to slide it maybe 20, like 27 feet I guess, with a three foot leader here. So if I can get this 27 feet above the sinker, which I'll have to go, I'm gonna have to let out some line here. It's gonna be a little funky, not gonna lie, but, um, this is kind of what we're gonna have to do to get it down there from shore. So anyways, there's six. Another six, so 12, 18, 24, 20, 30. That's 30, okay, we gotta do a little bit less. Let's do like, uh, yeah, there we go. Okay. So that's about me 25 or so feet above the uh, the bobber. So now when I when this hits the water, it should, if all goes as planned, it should drop the bait down about 25, 30 feet. So now I just need that sinker to sink down. There it is, it's almost to the bobber stop now. Oh, there's a little bit of wind today which is gonna make things a little bit tough. Oh, oh, something's biting it. It's getting hit. Oh yeah, bobber's going down. Oh shoot. Oh, they didn't get it. I'm gonna leave it there for a little bit, see if they come back. And then I might have to check my bait. How's it going? What's up, dude? Trying to make video number two. <laughs> yeah, me too. I just had a hit. I don't know what it was, but it. I'm pro. I'm gonna try to like bring him around over there. Okay. 
Oh, there's a bite, there's a bite. Oh, I missed him, I think. Oh, dang it, that was a bite for sure. 100% a bite. How did he miss that? Maybe I gotta let him take it a little bit more. I don't know. That was, he, he pulled that thing. He was going swimming off with it. I don't know how he didn't get hooked. It's all right. That's two bites already. Within like, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes of fishing. I think we're gonna get him here. All right. I don't think they're <clears throat> in here anymore. I think this morning they were in here. Got a couple bites and I saw Fisherman's Life hooked up a couple not, you know, within casting range. So I think they're in here, but I haven't had a bite in the last like half an hour, hour maybe. So I think they may have moved on. Maybe the bait moved on and they're following it. So I'm going to try a little bit different spot, another spot in mind from another rock. Let's see if we can get one from there. Here we go, fish on. What is this? Oh, I think it's a salmon. Oh yeah, it's a salmon. Oh yeah, it's a salmon. I was just jigging this little jig here. I'll show you in a second, but I gotta land this thing. Oh man, look at this. He's right here. I don't know if you'll see him. Oh yeah, you should be able to see him there. You can see the, the chrome. Okay, uh, oh, perfect, there's a little step right here. Just gotta get my net, oh! Oh, look at that. Okay, okay. Stay calm, gotta land him. Oh, no, 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 oh, he's going around the edge of this rock. Oh, don't do that, don't do that. Back this way. There you go, there you go. There you go. Oh, no, 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 not that way, not that way. Bad, bad, oh shoot. It's coming towards me. Not sure how good this, man, it keeps trying to go that way. Oh God, I'm so in. Oh no, no, don't jump, don't jump, don't jump. All right. No, nope, don't jump, don't jump, please. Gotta get down here. Okay, all right. Got my net right here at the ready. Get kind of low here. Oh, he swallowed that jig. Okay, we got him. Finally, that took a little while. All right. Well, honestly, I thought it was gonna be a lot easier than this, but it was pretty difficult to get my first fish here. Had to work through a few spots. Try to put my rod down here. Oh, I'm all over the place. It's a nice one, probably about 20, 20 inches or so. He absolutely inhaled that jig. You can't even see the jig. Look at that. It's like totally gone. All the way down the throat. I wonder if you can, you might be able to see the very tip of the jig. Maybe, maybe not. Sorry, I'm checking my other rod. But yeah, that's a landlocked king salmon right there. Solid one. Same thing that I was catching out in the kayak in my last video, but obviously it's a little bit harder from the from the bank. You don't have the the uh, mobility that you do in a kayak, and yeah, there's just a lot of other variables. 
just like netting him. Netting him was difficult enough. But wow, he like inhaled that jig. Okay, there's the jig. It, it, it's, a, it's a white jig. I know it looks a little red now with all the blood, but. Anyways, what I was saying is, not really sure why they're eating this thing, but they are. And I was just jigging it off this rock right here. Just not too far, maybe like 20 to 30 feet out. Just kind of bouncing it, like getting it close to the bottom. Maybe that's why they're getting it. It's just a like grunt on the bottom. But uh, anyways, just jigging it right out here, and that's when that fish hammered it. Let's get see if we can get another one. Oh, 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 there's a bite. Got him. Got him. On the jig again. On the jig. The jig is the way to go. Oh, that, oh, wow. This guy's all over the place. Make sure he's. Oh, yeah, it's a salmon. It's a salmon. You can get him to swim right into the net. Oh, there's a bass following him in. Okay, hold up. We can't, we can't focus on the bass. We gotta focus on the salmon. Oh, no, no. No, no, no. Come on in. Okay, we got him. Got him. All right. There we go. That is a really nice landlocked king. I'd say he's probably 22 inches, and I guess he's four, maybe four and a half pounds, four plus pounds, I'd say. I think he's over four. I mean, they look just like the Ocean Kings, to be honest, from the outside. The meat is not quite as orange as an Ocean King, and you know, you could expect that. These guys aren't in the ocean, they're not eating krill. They're in here in lakes, and I think their main diet is like little, uh, little minnows, little shad. But um, still really good. My preferred method for cooking these is to smoke them. That's my favorite way to eat them. And uh, yeah, this one will smoke up really nicely. Again, look at how fat he is. Definitely some shad in there. That'd be my guess. But anyways, that's number two. Let's bleed him, get him in the cooler, and uh, get our line back in. All right guys, so this is how this tube jig works. So it comes with this little jig head. I don't know if it's like an eighth of an ounce or a quarter of an ounce. Um, and then a few of these tubes. So what you do is you stick this, the jig head, in the back of the tube like that. You see that? Just slide it all the way up to the front of the jig. Just like that. So all you have is the hook point coming out the back end, nothing. And then in order to hook it onto your bait, you just have to break that tip of the jig through you might be able to see that there's a little hole and then I'm clipping that onto my line so if I tie this on here I believe that's just a clinch knot tighten that and there you go flicking this out there and it's not very heavy. I think it might be like an eighth of an ounce, the jig head. So it's not gonna sink super fast, but just kind of give it, in, I don't know, maybe five seconds or so. Flipping the bale, make sure my drag's good. And then just kind of stay in contact with the bait, just kind of jig it up and down like this. It's a really light kind of finesse style fishing, but um, yeah, just jigging it like this, and then once I feel it hit the bottom, I'll reel it up, you know, probably like five to ten feet, and then do the same thing. Just jig it until it kind of drifts. Eventually, it'll come back and hit the bottom again. And then I'll just do the same thing over again. Oh, there's a bite. Oh, yeah, hit the bobber. Hit the bobber. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna let him take it this time. Oh. 
Oh yeah. Okay, I think he's got it. Got him. Finally, I got him with the bobber. What is this? Is it a salmon? Oh yeah, it's a salmon. Salmon, baby. Salmon on. All right, let's see if we can land him. There he is. Finally, I hooked one on the bobber. I don't know why, but for some reason, they just weren't weren't committing to it. A lot of ticks, a lot of bites. Even a couple of them take the bobber all the way down, but they just weren't getting hooked. But finally, finally, I got one now. All right, let's net him. in the net there's number three that's the smallest one but i mean that's still a nice fish probably like 18 17 18 inches and actually the last time i caught five and uh one of them was a little bit smaller not quite this small but it was smaller than all the rest of them and that one had the pinkest or the orangiest meat out of all of them so i'm hopeful that this one even though it's a little bit smaller might have some better quality meat so anyways number three the rain's coming down a little bit uh thank you Matt's for the drone footage there. He was headed out right as I hooked up there. So I, he honked at me, he was driving back. I waited to him and he threw up the drone. So thank you very much for that one. Last time I was here with him, we each got our limit and then he came back out here today just randomly. We didn't plan to, but you know, we both saw each other out here today. I think he put it together another good day. So look forward to that video. And uh, anyways, there's number three. water all over the lens. All right, I don't know, it might be blurry, but anyways, it literally had a 0% chance of rain at this time online when I looked at the forecast. It was supposed to rain a little bit this morning, but in the afternoon it said 0%, but uh, this isn't 0% anyways. But, you know, I caught three salmon, I lost a couple, Unfortunately, I couldn't get them off that first cliff spot that I wanted to do, but I mean this this was no joke getting them from here I had to hop down there and uh, Net them, you know without falling off the edge of the rock But uh, anyways, it was a fun day out here and I don't really need to catch five five is the limit But I still have my five from last time and I do plan on coming at least one more time to do one more interesting video, They're probably from the kayak next. If you have any questions about the rigs I was using today um, I'll leave that white tube jig thing. I'll leave that linked in the description. Um, caught one on the bobber rig too. Same thing that I use for uh, steelhead, similar kind of rig. Um, but anyways, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I always do my best to answer as many of those as I can. And uh, yeah. Oh shoot, I'm getting a bite. Oh, he just dropped it. That's it? Oh no, no, no. He's getting it again. Okay, hold on. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he's still eating it. I think he's got it. Bobber is completely under the water. I got him, got him. Got him. The rain woke him up, oh, all the way out of the water. Okay, let's uh, hop down. Oh, 
Oh man, these rocks are super slick. All right. Come on in. I think I gotta get one more crank on the reel. Now, I said this last time, but even though these are lake salmon, they still fight pretty good. I mean, I don't think the freshwater affects their their strength at all. Oh, get in there. Okay. Oh man, that was close. Nearly took a swim there. All right, so I take it back. We're not ending on three. I'm really tempted to come back, or sorry, throw it back out for four. You know what? We'll throw it back out. The rain's light, letting up a little bit. We'll try one more, one more cast. All right, well, turned out that I did actually hit my limit. I was planning to leave when I got that third one and then it really started coming down pretty hard. Um, but right as I was doing that, I got hit, got the fourth one, and then can't leave on that one. So popped it back in there. And actually, you know, the sun's almost coming out now. So I'm kind of glad I stayed. Uh, popped it back out there and then bang, banged my fifth and, and limit fish. So full limit, five nice salmon. Actually, two of them are really nice. Three of them are a little bit smaller, but um, like I said earlier, I think the smaller ones have better quality meat, so I'll get better quality on those, more quantity on the other ones. Um, just turns out to be a nice all-around limit. So anyways, if you guys have any questions about any of the rigs I was using, I'll leave that little uh, jig linked in the description, the white jig that I was using. Um, and the other setup was just my bobber setup that I've been, same thing I use for a steelhead, so. If you guys have any questions about it, leave a link, or sorry, leave a comment in the comment section below. Um, but other than that, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.